How much crypto do you have, if you were to say? I don't, I don't have more than a couple of million dollars. I don't have much crypto. I don't, I don't wow. <laughs> <laughs> Welcome back to the show. Um, it's been a while. I hope everyone is doing well. Um, today we have, it's a big honor, we have a very big guest. Um, we have the one and only Mr. Rizwan Sajan. Woo! Thanks. Rizwan Sajan is a celebrated entrepreneur from India, currently living in Dubai. Apart from being an entrepreneur, he's a real estate developer. Rizwan is the founder and chairman of the Noob Home, UAE's largest diversified uh, conglomerate with interest in developing elements, resources, and construction. Mr. Rizwan Sajan was born in a middle-class family in Mumbai, and since then has uh, moved uh, up in the world. And uh, we want to today talk about his journey and ask him some quick-fire questions. So... How did you start, by the way? Just like a quick little, like, how did you get into the business? Well, my father expired at the age of 16, and uh, I had no other option but to take care of the responsibility of my family. So then I wrote to my uncle in Kuwait, and then he gave me a job in Kuwait. I went to Kuwait. I was working for there for nine years, and uh, I started with a salary of only 1,500 dirhams over there. In Kuwait, it was 150 dinars. Uh, but I was a good salesperson, I would say, and from that... Uh, sales which I could do. I was uh, from 1500, my salary became 15,000 dirhams. Now I was only uh, 25 at that age. So wow. I was, that money was too much for me, 15,000 dirhams. And everything was going good for me. I have bought a house in Bandra, which is next to Shah Rukh Khan's house. And also had the best of my life. I had my sister got married. I got myself got wow. married. Everything perfect, what a middle class family would want it. Uh, but uh, something else was destined for me. Saddam Hussein comes into Kuwait and he conquers uh, or he invades uh, Kuwait and we had to run away from there. And then uh, from there, we, I, I came to Dubai and started my own business. Very nice. Very good, very good. How old were you when you, fade, when you made your first million dirhams? I think I was 28. 28 years old? My first million I mean, I can, I can say I beat you there. <laughs> yeah, of course. Like, the way you're going more. The way you are I don't trying. think I'll get to you. <laughs> You'll be much faster than me, I think. No, that far, I don't think so. But, but you know, it's funny because a lot of people are like uh, 21, 22, and they're stressing because they don't have it. And you're 28, you made your first million, and look at you now. So yeah. people are stressing too much at the young age, to be yeah, honest. Absolutely. It's a, it's a question of, I think I'm a God-gifted person, and I normally don't stress. Today also, Kavya knows the way I work. A uh, hundred mm. people wanting to see me at the same time. But I try to keep my calm down. And it yeah. all depends on the nature, I would say. And one thing I, I love about the way you structure your businesses, um, you go on like making everything affordable, you know? Yeah. You're, not, you're not into like the business of trying to overcharge people. You're trying to like make it as affordable as possible for everything. Absolutely. Our, our funda or the motto is affordable luxury. That means offer customer what is required and offer him more than the value. And try not charge him more so that he keeps coming back to you again and again. Yeah. You're very active on social media. Is this like uh, something that you feel helps your business? I think today's world, one has to be active on social media. If you're not seen, you're not. It's like in, in, in our Indian language, we say, Jo dikta hai, wo bikta hai. I mean, whatever, out of is sight, seen, out of mind. whatever is seen can be sold. So if you're not active on social media, you're out of the market. So I always tell all my, even my children, my son, Adil and Sana and everybody that you need to be active on social media. Because that's the world today. I mean, you need to be seen everywhere. everywhere. That's really true. <sighs> How's the real estate market in terms of ROI? I think the real estate market today in Dubai, in Dubai is completely changed. Especially after COVID, you can see a big transformation in the real estate market. When I say big transformation, yes, before COVID also we were doing very well. But after COVID, the confidence of the people which has happened in Dubai is unbelievable. I mean, you know that how many people have come to Dubai bringing all their money from across the world and want to do business in Dubai. And uh, people are buying houses for more 100 million dirhams and 200 million dirhams like cakewalk like this. Today also I heard in the newspaper somebody's bought a house for 200 million dirhams. Wow. So the real estate market has completely changed and the way the Dubai government has taken care of the COVID, taken care of the people over here, the way transformation has happened over here uh, in terms of uh, uh, the confidence of people, the real estate market is really very good, I would say. And the ROI, like as a percentage wise? Uh, see, there are two types of uh, properties. One is the property, the high end properties where you can't do look at the ROIs because uh, in there you are planning to stay over there. But mm -hmm. in apartments like we are selling the affordable luxury, you can easily get six to seven person, six to seven person ROI without any problem. 
right. which is very good according to the international market like for example if i if i look at the property in london i don't even get 1.5% in hong kong i don't even get 2% mm. in mumbai i don't get more than 2% so when mm. you say 6 to 7% it's an excellent roi all right all right and what do you think about let's say the stock market uh and investing in the stock market i know people there they try to aim for like uh, some people like try to aim for around 15 to 20% um do you invest in stock market yourself of course i invest but you see as a, as an investor what is important is you should have your mixed portfolio you should keep some Diversified. of your money in the stocks you should keep some of your money in the cryptos and you should keep majority of your money in the properties because property can never go wrong stocks can go around as you see crypto today while we are talking is zoomed down people who have invested a have lot of money uh, yeah of course i have crypto but not big value so i don't i believe in properties and i always invest more and more money in property because property can never put you down But how much crypto do you have if you were to say I don't I don't have more than a couple of million dollars I don't have much crypto I don't Wow <laughs> <laughs> I I I do crypto I, 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 uh, we're in the wrong business uh, yeah. let's quit I, YouTube and join real estate I I don't uh, I don't uh, you know play more on crypto because I feel it's a very volatile I don't understand that business but yes to understand what is happening around the world I invest that money. But you have like main as a mainly Bitcoin Ethereum or you're into these other coins too. Those I coins. have in Bitcoin Ethereum other coins also. But again if you ask me more questions on crypto I will not be able to answer because my son is managing that. Oh, He's okay. managing my account so you could better ask him you know what are the different coins he has he keeps a track of it and he invest any right now he's lost money because of what he has invested but yeah. I'm sure he said that don't worry this will rebound. I, I yeah. hope he didn't buy Luna. <laughs> <laughs> you know what it? <laughs> No comment. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> he did. He did. All it. <laughs> Everything. All <laughs> Luna. <laughs> um, um, one more question. So this is just like, what's the what's the biggest point in your life? Because I know companies struggle sometimes. Was there a moment that you you really wanted something to happen? Like maybe someone invested with you guys that you needed the money. Like a turning point. Biggest. Well, was turning there point. any turning point in the business? Because obviously it's not easy to build what you built. I think we had a lot of ups and downs to be honest. from this uh, from the time i born like i said i was doing very well and my father expired so it was down again i went to kuwait it was up saddam hussein came it was down i went again to dubai we made it up uh, again we had the lehman brothers crisis we were down again yeah. uh, we again pulled back again came up then we had the covid crisis we covid crisis we were again oh, down sometimes. again up the most important is you know what is important is people go up and down but yeah. when you go down it's important to keep yourself keep peace calm and keep your fundamentals very strong so you are able to come up very fast very nice very nice and just just for people like i don't i don't know if we can ask these questions we can easily skip them but What what's the company turnover a year? Uh we are talking about 1.3 to 1.4 billion dollars. 1.4 billion dollars a year. Wow. And like uh, what's like a what would you say is like gross expenses per month? Say again? Gross expenses per month. Like grocery expenses. No, no, gross <laughs> expenses. <laughs> I hope what, the groceries what, are not too much. What is that? What expenses? Like gross expenses. Your expenses. Uh, that's that's very expenses. difficult to answer that question. I'm making good money, touch wood, alhamdulillah. Touch wood. Alhamdulillah. <laughs> 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 Are you a billionaire yet? No. <laughs> yeah, because um, these things have a lot of expenses with these businesses. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Uh, Do you think another housing market crash will happen? I don't think so. If you ask me as a Danub or if you ask me as a Rizwan Sajan personally, uh, in Dubai, I don't think there's going to be ca- any crash happening uh, for a few years unless and until... uh um, the some political crisis or some war or some covid crisis like this i don't think because the way today dubai is position no other country is position in the world yeah. people across the world want to come and put their money in dubai people from bombay wants to people yeah. from india wants to come put in money people from lebanon wants to come and put the money over here yeah. people from pakistan wants to come and put the money i was in talking to some people from saudi arabia they want to park their money over here yeah. so everywhere there is some or the other problem and people wants to park their money here in dubai so i don't see we are expecting any crash but i can see a big rise in the prices like i personally believe that uh the way dubai is growing today what property prices you can buy you will never be able to buy in the next 6 months or one year down the line yeah. because wow. it's changing day by the day i can see it i can feel it i mean yeah. i have launched it i have launched a project in october and i have launched a project uh in uh, before 2 months and when i'm launching a new project i can see the in- investors confidence is going day by day and when it is happening automatically all the price goes up yeah 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 
Um, at what age did you start taking care of your family financially? All over. I think at the age of 16, I told you my father expired and I had no other option but to go Step and up. manage my family, take care of that and that was very, very young age. So I would say uh, I had nothing when my father died at that particular first month. We didn't have a ration also to kill him. Oh my God. But uh, such would God. And what age did you get married? I got married at the age of 25. Okay. And, and do you feel like um, having a wife, um, ultimately, would you say it's like... Um, Uh, to put it bluntly, like, is it like a bit distracting or does it help in the journey towards Depends success? Depends on what sort of a wife you have. If you have a good wife who doesn't nag you, doesn't bother you, uh, then you it's a blessing for you because then the, that she is always there to protect you, to ensure you. Yeah. Because I, you know, when you start your own business, you really need to work. You yeah, have no time. Uh, no time. I mean, today you need to work for 14, 15 hours. I used to start my day at 7 o'clock when dropping Adil to the office, uh, to the school and then come back home by 9.30, 10, 11, 12. Wow. Uh, but touch wood, uh, Uh, they all understand that you are in the business and you need to give that time to the work and that's the only way yeah. you can come up. So if you have a good wife, you don't have to worry. Yeah. And if you were to start again from today, let's say you start again from square one and you have no money, mm. how do you think you'd go about it? I think I'll go with the same way, with the same fundamental, the same formula. Keep my basics right. I would no, never do anything stupid. Would you go uh, like all in in crypto? Like just... Crypto? <laughs> I will not. I've not been... I just know $2 million is nothing in crypto. So, hardly any money I have invested in crypto uh, compared to the money, money which I have invested elsewhere. So, crypto, I, I told you, it's crypto is for fun. It's not yeah. for investment. It goes up, it goes up. So, I would rather put my money on the properties, but I will follow on my basics, I would say. I'll 100% on my basics. Habits, where yeah. I worked sincerely, honestly, with integrity and built my step-by-step step the company which I built earlier. Very nice. Yeah. What's your, where do you see yourself in five years? I think I I plan every year, every second year. And in the next five years, I want to launch another 25 buildings for sure. Wow. Uh, inshallah, God willing. And of course, uh, expansion of Danube Home, Danube, prop, Danube Building Materials, Danube Home, you know, son is expanding. My son is doing, uh, Adil is handling. Uh, then of course, the Danube Building Material, which is my basic core business. And yeah. that also is doing business good. And with the property now evolving in Dubai and other places in the GCC, we have a good chance of uh, uh, business or in the building material also. So I think the next five years, to me, looks to me very good in the GCC, especially mm -hmm. the expansion of Saudi, which is happening. A huge Saudi expansion is happening. Yeah. I'm sure you must have heard about it. Yeah. So. I have a final question. Um, this is something I've always wanted to know. How much does it cost to build a building? And I know, of course, you have those cheaper buildings, more expensive, but like, let's say a 15-story, 20-story building. How much does it cost for one building? Depends on the size of the building, but if you ask for square feet, all cost comes to about 800, 700, 800 dirhams if you're talking about a good building of the size of the building. Which yeah, but how much is the whole building? The whole building depends on depend on the size of the building more. I mean, it can be a building can be 150 million, a building can be 500 million, a building can be 1 billion. Oh. So you tell me what is the total square feet? What, uh, what's the most expensive building you've built? I think the base was the most expensive in the business day. Okay, how much was like the whole building? About Uh, the total project value about 500 million and the total construction cost was about 300 million plus the marketing plus the finance plus the uh, so complex and all that so it's costing about 400 million plus wow okay well and um, just to finish it off you said you've made your first million when you were 28 mm -hmm. was that like uh, a combination of many many small deals or did and during that year did you have a very big deal that you closed or and how was that feeling when small, you made that first small small at that time there was no question of big deal every day it has struggle trying to make that uh, small, small deal. Break bread, yeah. Uh, bread, bread, bread. And I always tell all my salespeople, don't run after the big, run after bread and butter daily. And if you get a jackpot, uh, you are lucky. Uh, But most of the people, what happens is they want to make the easy money. They, they want run that after one big the deal. Jackpot. And uh, they lose in that. So I would always say, That's actually really go good. slowly, slowly, make yeah. your money. The small wins. Small wins. And if you do small win, automatically you'll get a uh, jackpot. Home run. Inshallah. Yeah. Inshallah. Uh, that's what me and Ahmed always say. I tell him if we can make like $15,000 a day, that's $450,000 a month. Yeah. And half like $5 million a year. Yeah, so that's good enough. Yeah. That's perfect. Break it down daily. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, absolutely. Yeah. Absolutely. Yeah. yeah. And if you have that mindset where you only want the big ones, then you spend Then a you lot are of in time. trouble. Yeah. You're in trouble. Yeah, you're yeah, wasting yeah. time. You're not really doing. You're not really. Yeah, like, like, for example, today also, if you ask me, I'm selling apartment by apartment. I don't want to sell a building. Somebody comes yeah. to me. I want to go. I would rather sell my apartment and make my money because tomorrow... So it's slow. Absolutely. Yeah, this is slow growth builds character and fast yeah. builds ego. Absolutely, yeah. 
Thank you so much for your time. Thank as well. you. It's been that, a big was an amazing, that was probably the best interview we've done, guys. So, <laughs> and they have a new project which you'll hear more about um, on most channels. So check it out. <laughs> <laughs> and yeah. And yeah, guys, take care. Thank you so much for watching this video, Rizwan, Mr. Rizwan Sajan. Thank you so much for your advice, thank your you inspiration to me and many people my age. And I hope you continue to keep giving us your advice and you keep growing strong and keep being an inspiration for us. Really, thank you, Ahmed. Thank you, Mom, for thank coming you. over here and really taking your time. I know you have a flight, but thanks to you for coming and no, you know, doing no, this. Thank you so much. The, uh, time when I was really wanted to do. Amazing. Thank, thank you, you so much, guys. Have a good day. Okay.